I'm going to be sharing with you in this video how to own your masculine power and stop people pleasing. Okay, stop people pleasing. And your gender doesn't matter for this because it's very important, regardless of your gender, to own your masculine power. And this is also incredibly powerful and valuable for manifestation. This is going to help you to manifest and create your reality in a much more powerful way. Let's talk about that in this video. So if you're new to this channel, what I want you to do is I want you to hit that subscribe button. I want you to hit that notification bell because I do post a new video every single day. Also, if you want to work with me one on one personally, you can book a single session by hitting the link that's in the description box of this video. Now, the first thing that I want to share with you in this video is to understand this might sound egotistical. This might sound arrogant for me to invite you to think in this way. But in order to be a powerful creator, it does require a little bit of arrogance. And the first thing that I want to share with you in this video, and by the way, that doesn't make you a bad person. We'll go a little bit deeper into that later in the video. But the first thing that I want to share with you is to understand you are always right. You're always right. People around you in life are always going to try to deceive you and convince you and lie to you. They're going to lie to you. And it's not that they are trying to lie to you, but everybody has their own path. We all have our personal truth. We all have our own personal truth. Now, if you don't learn how to own your personal truth, what happens is that you lose yourself in the delusions of the external world, the external world. And of course, the external world exists, but you have to understand that it is always a reflection of what you believe to be true. So in order to take back your sovereignty, and your freedom and your consciousness in order to feel how you want to feel in your reality and manifest the things that you want, you must understand that you are always right. You're always right. Now, am I saying to, to fight with people? Am I saying to make other people wrong? Not necessarily. I'm not saying at all, actually, to fight or to make somebody else wrong. This isn't about making other people wrong. And I'll get a little bit deeper into that later in the video as well. But you want to understand that you're always right. You're always right. Whatever beliefs you have about the way the world works, you need to own that. You need to own that. And if you don't own that, you will lose yourself in many deceptions and lies and fairy tales that are completely out of alignment with your home frequency, with how you personally operate. And I'm going to go a little bit deeper again later in the video, but you can be right without making somebody else wrong. We can all be right. We all have a turn to be who we are in this universe. And it doesn't have to make somebody else wrong. You don't have to take away from somebody else's experience because of course lack doesn't exist. You can be right, somebody else can be right, but we'll get to that later. Now, this is very critical to understand and if you if you don't own the fact that you are correct in your reality, you will actually be doing a disservice to the entire universe. Because think about it, everybody needs to have a permission slip to be right. And if you're confused and scared and I don't know what to do and I don't know who I am and all these things, let me ask everybody for help, 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 who is the blah, 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 blah. If you, when, you come into, when you come into that kind of frequency, how are you helping anybody? Is, let me ask you this. Is being in chaos and fear and I don't know what's happening and let me, let me just give away all... Who, who is that helping? Who, is that benefiting anybody? In my opinion... Absolutely not. Now, the second thing that I want to share with you in this video is you don't need to prove yourself to anybody. This isn't about like proving somebody wrong or like, or like coming into a, a space of like, 
let, let me let me prove this person wrong and I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna you know I'm gonna prove them wrong you know let's say maybe somebody uh, disagrees with a business idea that you have I'm, I'm gonna prove that person wrong that's not what I'm inviting you to do here so please don't misconstrue and misinterpret what I'm communicating here there's something deeper that I'm pointing you to here that that is beyond the surface of what I'm communicating much deeper something much deeper than just the words the blah 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 language that I'm communicating so this isn't about proving somebody wrong or or being right in the sense that you know everybody is wrong let me prove them wrong because they're all they're all asshole no it's not about that everybody is is there's not it's not about judgment it's not about judgment or hurting anybody or or anything like that this is about understanding that you don't need to prove yourself to anybody just be right just be right you're always right whatever you believe you are correct simple as that i'm always right in my reality that might seem a little bit arrogant but you're also right in your reality am i saying that you're wrong not necessarily and i'm not going to come into your space and tell you you're wrong unless you come into my space and attack me and tell me i'm wrong then i'll say that i'm right and you're wrong and i'll push back but if you be who you are and i be who i am then there's no need to fight you know, I'm not going to push. If you push, I'll push back. <laughs> and, uh, you know, you might need to learn a lesson there. <laughs> but, you know, if I, if I don't need to do that, then why am I going to do that? See, I believe that if we all give ourselves permission to be who we are, you don't need to push. I don't have to push. You don't have to push. We can all just be who we are. So I want you to understand, just be right. Don't prove anybody wrong. This isn't about... This isn't about, you know, overstepping somebody or pushing somebody's boundaries or or any kind of energy that, you know, I played with a little bit there. But again, you know, sometimes if, if it's necessary, if the moment calls for it, you can, you know, get into that, into that, you know, I would say a little bit more of a dysfunctional and toxic masculine state. But that's only if somebody doesn't understand the energetic dynamic of what it is that I'm communicating here and it's very difficult to put this into words this is why I highly encourage you to look a little bit deeper with how I'm saying what I'm saying and how that personally applies to you in your personal life right because I have my truth and I can't tell you what your truth is you have to find your own truth yourself you have to find your truth. I wish I could tell you your truth, but I can't because it's just not my place to do so. Now, the third thing that I want to share with you in this video is to let others be right and you can also. Okay, so own who you are fully is basically what I'm inviting you to do in this video. That's what I want to conclude this video with is own who you are fully. You have full permission to be who you really are. You have full permission to own the fact that you're a creator and everybody else can be a creator. And if you do that, I personally believe that is what is going to create peace and harmony and remove all the unnecessary fear on the planet that is dormant right now that we don't have to participate in if you learn to own the fact that you are a divine creator. All these problems and chaoses and fears and anxieties and depression and, and diseases in the world and all these different things, I believe that we don't have to, like, like, I believe that consciousness is evolving to a point where if you have a certain level of awareness and understanding of the way that reality works, it is not necessary to participate in that chaotic frequency. And you can learn to have boundaries with that and own your reality and understand that you can lead by example and be who you truly are. And with that, I conclude this video. Once again, if you want to work with me one on one personally, you can book a sync. You can book a single session by hitting the link that's in the description box of this video. It's also going to be in the comments of this video as well. As always, enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video.